merge. Now, merge in SQL is exactly that. You're trying to merge or blend two data sets. So now you'll typically have a target table, right? And here we have an example. We'll use ID and some amount. Could be anything. Could be sales. Could be quantity. Anything, right? And then we'll we'll draw our source data here. Now the goal here is to update our target table based on our source data. Now source data can be a table or it can be a query. Okay, it doesn't have to be a physical table. Now with merge, what you do is you're joining these data sets or matching these data sets on certain values, right? So in this case, we will match, again, don't think of it like an inner join or, or where you're dropping records or anything like that, no. Think of it more as matching. So in this case, we would match based on our ID, okay? And under certain conditions, we can make updates to the target table, all right? So let's take a look at these data sets and let's, let's look at some examples here. So now looking at these first two records, you can see we match on the ID. And now let's suppose in this case, we just want to update our target table with the amount in our source data. So let's go ahead and do that. So now let's look at our third record. You can see here we want to update the amount by a negative amount of $500. Now let's suppose we have logic where whenever our amount falls below $500, we want to delete that record. So let's go ahead and do that. And now looking at our fourth record here, again, we just want to do another update. And looking at our last record, you can see we do not have a match. Okay, so there's no matching ID in our target table. So let's suppose in this case, we want to insert this record into our target table. All right, so this is the basic idea behind merge. Now let's head on over to SQL and see how this is done. All right, now merge. So what I've done here is I've created some temporary tables with some data for us to work with. So let's take a look at this. All right, now the grid at the top, this is our target table, okay? Our target accounts table, as you can see here. And we're gonna pretend this is a table that has our best accounts, okay? And if you notice, every record in this table has a credit rating of at least a two, okay? So these are our top accounts, all right? Now, the grid at the bottom, this is going to be our source data set. So let's pretend this is maybe a data feed we get from some external source, all right, and this has any changes to these accounts, all right? So let's focus on the first record here in each of these grids, and you'll notice our Australia bike retailer, the credit rating was a 1, and it's dropped to a 3, all right? So now we want, in our merge statement, we want our merge statement to remove this record. If their credit rating drops, they get removed from our target accounts table, right? because they are no longer one of our top accounts, all right? Now let's also drop down uh, to record number four here, and you can see Trikes Incorporated, the name has changed. So in our accounts table, it's all X's. However, the name is really Trikes Incorporated. So we want to capture this update. So we want our merge to also take this into account and update data, all right? Now, looking at the bottom grid, record number seven, you'll see Chicago Rental, this is a new account, all right? And the credit rating is a two. So we want to add this to our accounts table. So we want our, our merge to also do an, an insert here in these cases, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and write a merge statement to help us accomplish this. All right, so now to start off our merge statement, we're gonna start with the keyword merge, no surprise there. And now what do we want to merge, right? What do we want to update? Well, we want to update our target accounts table, okay? This is our target table. And we'll give it an alias, so we'll just call it as target, okay? Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to define what are you using to merge, right? What data are you merging this with, okay? So that's where we're going to type using, and this is where we're going to enter our source data. So in our case, it's our source accounts table. And again, we'll give that an alias as source, all right? Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to tell it to what to match on, okay? Now, when you're joining tables, in this case, in, normally you do like an inner join on, right? But in this case, it's a match. It's not like an inner join or outer join. That's not what we're defining here. We're purely matching on fields, okay? So all you need is on, and then just define the fields. Okay? That's what we're going to match on, all right? Now, the next thing, now is where we define what we want to do 
when we match, when we don't match, and this is where we define our criteria to do the deletes, inserts, and updates, okay? So what you wanna do is, so let's start out um, with our delete. Let's say the first thing we wanna write here is we wanna tell this merge, listen, if the credit rating drops below a two, okay, or if the credit rating is above a two, really, uh, we wanna delete those from our, from our target table, all right? So we'll say when matched, right? So again, when, when our source data has a matching record and it shows that that credit rating has dropped, right, we wanna delete it. So when matched and the source data has a credit rating, right, greater than two, then delete, okay? It's that simple, all right? Now, next thing we wanna do is we wanna insert good credit ratings that do not already exist, right? So if, if we have a new record in our source data, okay, and the credit rating is good, we wanna make sure we add that to our table, right? We wanna make sure that record gets inserted, all right? So now we're gonna type when not matched, all right? So when not matched and our source credit rating um, is less than or equal to two, then we want to insert. So we'll type insert. Okay. Now I'm going to cut and paste here to make things quicker because I already have this. Okay. So we'll insert our values. Okay. All right. And we have our insert statement. Okay. Now, lastly, remember that uh, account name that was different, we wanna make sure we account for that, all right? So now when matched and the target name is not equal, the source name, right? So if it's different, then we wanna update, okay? But we wanna set the target equal to the source, right? Because the source captures the, the updates, okay? The latest updates, right? So we wanna make sure that's captured here, all right? So now we've got, in one merge statement, we're doing inserts, updates, and deletes, all right? We're blending this data, all right? We're merging this data. Now, the cool thing is we can actually send the output of this merge or the results of this merge to another table, okay? So I went ahead and I created a temporary table that'll store our results here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll type output, okay? And we're gonna use tables where if you've used triggers, you're probably familiar with the, the system-like tables deleted and inserted, right? So we're gonna use those here. So we'll type deleted.star and then action, okay? This is gonna store the action that was taken. Was the record deleted? Was it inserted? Was it updated? All right? And then inserted.star, okay? And we're gonna send this output into a temporary table I've created called merge results. Okay, and it's just a bunch of fields to, to that'll contain these values, all right? Now, think of it like this. Deleted will store the old world, okay? What the data was, all right? The action is exactly that, the action that was taken, okay? And inserted will show us what the data became, okay? What the data is now, all right? Now, again, if you've used triggers before, you should be familiar with these tables, okay? All right, now, every merge statement must end with a semicolon, so we'll do that. And now our merge is complete, all right? So let's go ahead and run this. All right, and you can see we have four rows affected, all right, great. Now let's take a look at our merge results. So let's just do a simple select star. And let's see what actions were taken. All right, let's bring this up. Okay. So now you can see two records were inserted. Okay, so you're going to have, again, you're going to have nulls here, right? Because those records didn't exist. And then you can see these records were inserted. So now you have these records on the right. Okay. Now, Australia Biker, you remember that? That credit rating dropped. Okay, it dropped from a one to a three. So that was deleted. So now in the new world, in the new data set, our new data set, it's null, right? It's not there anymore, right? Makes sense. And then remember trikes, the name that was updated, 
Okay, so you can see it was previously all X's, and now it's Trikes Incorporated. All right, so this is how we can capture the changes that were made uh, using our merge statement. All right, so that's merge. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching, but please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell.